Okay, as we work our way around Adobe Premiere Pro in the next few lessons, I hope that you kind of get a basic handle of the different buttons, the different windows, because I know it's a lot starting out. And so I've moved different windows around to fit what I'm more used to. So you can actually move these windows if you click and drag from the top, say I wanna put the project files over there rather than up at the top here, I can do that. You can, it takes a little bit of getting used to how it works, but uh, it's actually pretty easy once you get in there. And then if you go to window, you can open and close different windows depending on if you want them. But for now, if you just go to the standard setting arrangement, then you'll have all of these windows open. So the first thing you need to do is start a new sequence. A sequence is basically a new video. It's going to include a timeline where you can put, put video into that timeline and edit it. So the easiest way to do that in Adobe Premiere Pro is to take one of the clips from your video footage that you're going to use in your video and literally just click and drag it onto this little button right here. It looks like a post-it note and that will open a new sequence with the settings that match your video clip. Now I'm just going to explain this a little bit further so that you have a good grasp on it. So bear with me. So with your video, you have different settings. So you can see them here. You have a frame rate, you have the size, 1920 by 1080, you have different audio settings. And these are all things we talked about before when you were shooting. You have the different options of shooting 1280 HD, 1920 by 1080 HD. You have different frame rates. And so you want your sequence settings to match your video settings. If I didn't just drag and drop that into this new item button, I could just click it like that and then ask me, okay, I want to open a new sequence. And there's all of these different options. Say I shot with an airy camera, say I shot with a red camera, say I shot with a camera that uses DV, NTSC settings. So those are all different presets and you can even go in and customize them under the settings tab. but that's a lot of information that you don't need to know to just get started. What you need to do is just drag and drop the, your clip into the new item button. And then you can rename this. So this is some footage from San Diego. I don't know what I'm going to call the video yet. I'll just name this sequence San Diego. If I double click it, it will appear here if it's not already open. Okay, so now you are here on your, basically in your timeline. And you have an entire clip that I added to this timeline. And now we want to create a sequence of clips. So whatever you're making, a documentary, a montage, a music video, you're basically putting clips in sequence one after the other. And so an easy way to do that is just by double clicking your file up here so that it opens in the source window. You will see two windows now. The source window is showing the clip that we are previewing, the program window over here is showing our actual video timeline. So if I scrub through this just by clicking and dragging right here, I can kind of see what goes on in this clip. I can also just play it by hitting this play button. Now if I want to take this entire clip onto this timeline, I can just click and drag it down like this onto the timeline. But I don't want to take the entire clip. All I want to do is take a segment of this clip, maybe a few seconds. Maybe I want to start with my brother who's trying to get a match going right here and then go back to the candle. So I'm just going to scrub through here to about where I want to start. I'm going to press I on my keyboard, which is to set an endpoint. You can also press this mark in button right here. So that's where you want to, you're going to start the clip. Then you can play through it and then say I want to stop there. I can press O to set an out point or press this mark out button. And then I can drag, I'm just clicking the video itself and dragging it onto the timeline. Now I can scrub through my timeline and if I just press space bar on your keyboard you can actually play through this, your timeline down here. And you'll see that it goes from that first clip to the second clip of my brother striking the match. Say we want to go back to the candle, 
So here he's lighting the cam candle. I'm going to go to there. I'm going to set an endpoint. It's a little shaky. And I can just press O on the keyboard to set an out point and then drag it down onto my sequence. So we go from the Uno cards to my brother trying to strike the match and then it goes to the candle being lit. So this is a very basic sequence that I'm creating, but that's basically how you would create your video. You go through all your clips, find the parts that you want, and you add it to your timeline down here. In the next video, I'm going to be going over more tools and actually how to edit your video once it's down on the timeline.